look at that view. Oh, this is why I came. The roads and the views. Oh, that is awesome. He's having fun. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> it don't get any better than this. I live in northern Germany in Paderborn and I left my house at 5.30 a.m. and had to pick up Uli, the GS guy. Oh, we're starting now at 6 a.m. We're ready to go. Load it up, the 900XR, load it up to 1250 HP. Let's get going. I got my BMW motor rod app on, bringing the bike up to temperature. Still not used to these. Don't know if I like or hate those. I do like that though. <laughs> Ready? We left Rüden and headed for Frankfurt through the Sauerland, taking the B roads, the country roads, and in Frankfurt we decided to get on the Autobahn, doing 150 kilometers per hour down the Autobahn. That's pretty accurate because my speedo is about two and a half percent high, which is about 90 miles an hour all the way down to Basel, about 300 kilometers. And then once we got there, we hung a right. Instead of going into Switzerland, we decided to, we went across over into France because the Swiss have lower speed limits and there's a speed camera around every corner. Uh, and we stuck to all the country roads in France there, right into Geneva. Oh, this looks like some nice riding for the end of the day. Oh, it looks like he's out having fun. We're about... Uh, 25 kilometers from the hotel and uh, I've been on the road since 5.30. It's now 10 to 7. So wow, 13 and a half hours almost. About an hour off the bike between lunch and uh, coffee break and getting gas. Oh, look at that view. Oh. oh. Oh, that's Geneva down there. Ah. What's the name of that lake? Lake Geneva? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Geneva's over there. And that's Switzerland across the lake, right? Well, no, on this side of the lake it's Switzerland, isn't it? This side and other side is uh, France. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Wow, Lake Geneva. That looks nice. I like the Alps in the background there. That's cool. Oh, the, the little, you mean the, the walking path? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to you wanna take your GS up there? It's Monday morning, and we're in the little town of Sistieri. And this is where the 26 Winter Olympics were located. And right now in June, though, it's summer sports. As you can see over there, you have your mountain biking, hiking, all kinds of summer sports. And uh, I would say 80% of your hotels are shut down or just flat out closed down. You can see them all boarded up here because uh, there's not much summer traffic. Okay, it looks like Uli's ready to go. Oh, let's get going. I'm talking to you guys and... He wants to get going down the road. We just had our morning espresso over there. And uh, your typical Italian espressos. They are in and out in five minutes. It's, it's actually was kind of interesting. We had it in there. Good morning guys and gal. Wow, look 
at all the lavender. <laughs> smells like old lady. Hey, Uli, what are you doing? <laughs> a toilet with a beautiful view. Okay, yeah, I, I give you that. That is a beautiful view. Uh, <laughs> just don't turn around. Day six, we have gone 200, or no, 2,000 kilometers. And now we're going to go out and do 300 kilometers and then back up here tonight. Oh, look at that valley view there. Oh. Gorgeous. Yeah, and the Italians have a sense of humor. Whoever says they don't, they're wrong. Look at the speed limit, 90. <laughs> I'm doing 40. <laughs> Why would you... Yeah, and going around a bend like this at 90? Uh, yeah, you'll go right off the end. <laughs> Good morning guys, day eight, and we're getting ready to go, and uh, this is the state at the Chalet 1200 there, in uh, saint francois Longchamp. I'll put it up there, France, and this is our last day in the Alps, hmm, sad, <laughs> there's the owner, <laughs> very, very typical French, <laughs> nice guy, great hospitality, oh, and a good cook too. Uh, they, he cooked a uh, local meal for us last night. Uh, I would try to say the name, but I would massacre it, so I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, these are nice long... <laughs> After the switchbacks, I'm calling these sweepers. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, a, a sweeper is a straight line for me now. <laughs> One thing I've noticed is, is that uh, Geneva is a little unkept and a lot of buildings and housing and apartments are empty. 